Christ the Lord has risen. My name is Nefemi. I want to welcome you, both those watching online and those here in the sanctuary, to worship at Oshawa Temple on this joyous Easter Sunday morning. We believe in the power of prayer, so join us this Wednesday, April 3rd at 8 p.m. for our monthly prayer walk. The annual YP Music Day is on April 27th with special guests Solidarity Brass, and Soul Chorus. There is a concert held at Oshawa Temple at 2 p.m. Are you new to the church and want to know what the Oshawa Temple believes and why we do what we do? Maybe you want to become a member of the Oshawa Temple. If you have questions about the Salvation Army or want to take steps towards becoming a member, Salvation Army 101 is for you. Classes including a chance to meet with our officers or pastors take place this weekend, April 5th to 7th. For more information, please check the bulletin and to register, contact Julia at the church office or speak with Linda Lay. We are excited to announce that tickets for the Saturday, April 13th event of our 140th anniversary are on sale now. Purchase the special anniversary package of a celebration dinner and the gift of music concert ticket for only $30 or tickets for individual events are available for $25 for the anniversary celebration dinner and $10 for the gift of music fundraising concerts. Tickets can be purchased in person at the Corpse office, cash, check or card or online at www.saoshua.ca slash 140th. Tickets will be available for pickup at the Corpse Office, in the foyer, or at the door on April 13th. For more information, see the posters around the building or visit www.saoshua.ca slash 140th. 
The best way to keep up to date with all the activities at the church and to double check details relating to announcements is to be sure to read the weekly news in the bulletin at www.sayashua.ca slash bulletin. As we ready our hearts and minds for worship on this joyous Easter Sunday, we pray for fate like the women who, when they went to the tomb and were met by the angels, rushed to share the great news that Jesus had arisen. Give us hearts that seek after Jesus so the words we hear become the actions we live out.
gets more exciting than that. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Yeah, what an exciting thing. He is no longer in the grave. Jesus has rose from the dead. Praise God. Let's uh, open our service in prayer. And before we do, I would ask that you uh, be praying for our young people. Yesterday, we uh, hosted um, Easter egg extravaganza, and uh, there were so many kids here running around. I think some of them did about 17 laps of the church, uh, which was exciting. And uh, we were we hid some uh, mini Jesuses. They were about this big, and uh, we hid them around the church, and uh, that kids could take Jesus and put him in his pocket, put him in their pocket, and bring it home with them. And uh, we were in the gym. And a kid looked into a plant and found one, and he pulled it out, and he says, Who needs Jesus? I already have him. (laughs) Yeah. And I just thought to myself, that is the excitement we need about telling others about Jesus. Who needs Jesus? Because he's already in me. And so that is my prayer, that we will have that faith like a child. And I don't know what the, I don't know the little boy, uh, but I do hope that seeds were planted with each of the kids. And uh, amazingly enough, um, we were handing out chocolate, and what we saw was that they were more excited about those mini Jesus than about the chocolate that they were receiving. So, yeah. So a very big thank you to Victoria and her team because they did an amazing job and we know that seeds have been planted with that. We do also want to welcome, I see a lot of new faces, and so we're glad that you're here. Welcome. We're so glad that you have chosen to join with us in worship. We're going to enter into a time of prayer, and uh, there was a request from the Kirk family that many of you will know uh, for their grandson, Nolan, who is five years old. And uh, over the past couple of days, he's been having seizures multiple times a day. And uh, they've just asked that he be lifted to the throne of grace this morning. And so we're going to do that as a church family, as well as praying for others in our congregation. So let's bow in prayer together. Father God, we thank you for your son Jesus. We thank you that on Easter we celebrate, we rejoice in the fact that Jesus has risen, that death could not hold him, that the tomb, the, the stone was rolled away and the tomb was empty. We serve a risen Savior, God, and so we come this morning to celebrate your name, God, to celebrate the name of Jesus, to lift that name high above any other name. And God, as we enter into this time of worship, we know that there are people in our congregation, people joining us online, people that are connected to our core that are experiencing grief, experiencing sadness, experiencing health concerns. And so God, we bring all of them to you this morning. We especially think of little Nolan. We pray that you will give his body rest, that you will be with his medical team as they come up with a plan. We pray that you will be with his family as they support his young life through this ordeal. God, we pray for your miraculous healing. God, we thank you for so many people that have come to worship this morning. We pray that if they are new with us, they will feel welcome, that they will um, feel that they are in your presence this morning. God, we pray for each person here that they can have the joy in their hearts to celebrate you, God, to celebrate a risen Savior. God, we love you so much, and we pray that everything that takes place in this sanctuary this morning will be all about lifting your name higher, that we will go just overflowing after this service and not be able to help ourselves by saying, does anyone need Jesus? Because I already have him. God, we thank you for who you are. We pray that our praise and our worship will be a blessing to you and to those that have gathered, those that are joining us online. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I'm going to invite you to stand with me if you are able, and we're going to sing our opening song that talks about Jesus rising from the dead up from the grave. He arose. Let's have a great sing uh, as we praise our God. There's...
Rose, you may be seated. We're going to uh, read from our passage of scripture for this morning. Uh, if you are currently attending Oshawa Temple and you don't have a Bible, you can come and speak to me. If you are new and this is your first Sunday and you don't have a paper copy of the Bible, uh, don't hesitate to come and talk to myself or Captain Justin. We're more than happy to put uh, a paper copy of the Bible in your hands. We're going to look at uh, the book of John, chapter 20, this morning. The book of John is found in the New Testament, so closer to the back of the Bible. It'll go Matthew, Mark, Luke, and then John. If you get to Acts or Corinthians, you've gone just a little bit too far. There's also usually a table of contents in paper Bibles that you can take a look at if you're not sure to familiarize yourself a little bit with that. John chapter 20, verses 11 down to 18, and this is what God's word says. Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white, seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and one at the foot. They asked her, woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, woman, why are you crying? Who is it that you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabbani, which means teacher. Jesus said, do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. I have seen the Lord because he has risen. What a beautiful thing. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word this morning. And we're going to uh, listen as the songsters share their selection with us.
We're now going to ask you to uh, continue in our worship and our praise to God this morning with the giving of our tithes and offering. And uh, as the ushers come forward, uh, I just want to draw your attention to the center of the room and the amazing uh, display that Joy has put together this morning for Easter Sunday, and also to remind you back, and if you didn't see it for Good Friday, go back and watch the video. Look for the details that were put into it. And so I think we should say a huge thank you to Joy for uh, drawing us in closer to what happened on Easter weekend. And Joy wanted me to let you know that if over the next few days you'll be visiting someone who's sick or shut in, whether from our church family or from your family, um, that the hydrangeas here at the front um, should go to them. And so we would encourage you to take one with you to go for those visits and to brighten someone's day. Would you join me in prayer? Father, we are so grateful for your presence, that Jesus came, that he lived, that he died, that he rose again, that on that Sunday morning, the tomb was empty. He was no longer there. He was alive. That because of that, we can have life and life abundant. God, I just pray that we would not take that for granted, but we, we would be aware each and every day of the blessing that it is to have breath in our lungs, a song in our heart, words to share, opportunities to be your hands and your feet to so many people. And God, I thank you for the blessing that it is to be a part of this church family of people who give of their time, of their talents, and yes, of their treasures to your kingdom and your ministry going on here in Oshawa. And now as we offer back to you uh, a portion of what you've given to us, the blessing that we've received. Um, bless the giver, bless those that receive it, bless the many people whose lives are impacted. We saw evidence of that yesterday as people left here, yes, holding a little Jesus, but hopefully taking Jesus with them in their hearts. In his name I pray, amen. I'm going to invite the kids to come on up if you would like, and you can sit over in this front row. You're not going to be sitting for very long because we're going to sing a song together. So all the kids, I know I saw lots here. If you want to come, you can come now. And we're going to sing a song that says, My Redeemer Lives. And that means that Jesus has risen from the dead and he lives and he can live in our hearts. And um, 
I don't know if you've noticed, but I do enjoy moving around when we're worshiping. And uh, I know some of you don't like it, that like, you don't like to move around yourselves and that's okay, there's freedom in worship. But I am gonna invite you to do some actions with me. They're not too crazy, I promise. They're for like the beginner level. And uh, you can just follow me as we sing. And uh, if you're uncomfortable with moving, that's okay. You can stick with a clap or you can just stand there with a smile on your face, hopefully, as we sing the words, my Redeemer lives. We're gonna sing it with the help of the band. And uh, I'm gonna invite all my friends there to stand up. You can stand up as well, church, as we sing this beautiful song, My Redeemer Lives. that as you go through this week, children and adults, that we will remember, we'll take that song in our hearts that our Redeemer lives and we can praise God in dancing, we can praise God with clapping, we can praise God just with a smile on our face. I'm out of breath, so. <laughs> we're gonna say a short prayer and we're gonna invite the kids to go out for a very exciting kids church. I'm just gonna let the parents know. Um, just give me one second. <laughs> I should have got someone else to pray. Um, just to let the parents know that after the message, we're gonna have a time of reflection and then the worship team is gonna come up. And I would invite uh, the kids to come back for that because we wanna praise God as a church family. If you have little ones in the nursery, we'd invite you at that time to go and get your kids so that they can join in the fun and we can just praise our risen savior together after that. Let's bow in prayer. Oh, risen savior, we thank you for who you are. And we thank you for our kids that have come to worship you, that have come with their adults and uh, are here to sing, My Redeemer Lives. God, we thank you for the freedom that is found in Christ. And uh, we pray that as we uh, continue to worship, that our hearts, our souls, our minds, our eyes would be fixed on you. And as we go into this week, that the kids and the adults can go singing that song, that truth in their heart, that my Redeemer lives, my personal savior, my Redeemer lives. God, we thank you for our kids. We pray that they will be blessed as they go and to continue to learn about what it is uh, our Redeemer living. 
We thank you for our leaders. Uh, we pray you'll give them patience and love and grace as they uh, teach our kids and that they can just have a really great time at Kids Church. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, kids, have fun. Thank you.